Hello, and welcome to the Period 4 Suspense Showcase. I'm your host, Benny Gerkman, and this is your co-host, Fred. Over the course of the showcase, we'll be sharing some of our favorite videos made by our media broadcast class. The task was to create a suspenseful or spooky project that includes creative camera angles, long shots, and building tension through editing. All of these projects were scripted, filmed, and edited by students in our Period 4 media broadcast class. Now to start out, we will show a project that displays great use of all three requirements. Knock Knock, written, filmed, and edited, all by Eric Hart. I'm here to contact you about your car sent warranty. As you can see, a beautifully done project. Now, here with me to discuss a little bit about his project is Mr. Eric Hart himself. Thank you for coming on today. Thank sir. you for having me very much. So, uh, if I understand correctly, you filmed this all by yourself. Uh, what were some of the challenges you faced in doing that? Well, the major challenge that I faced while doing this was I had to make sure that the tripod never shifted in between shots where I had to mask myself in because if I did then it would mess up the entire process and I, it would be a little bit difficult to do it. Mm, okay, and, and since you did work alone, would you say it was easier to, to kind of put what you wanted in the project, be more creative, be more comedic? Yeah, uh, I had an idea for this type of project for a good bit now and this gave me an opportunity to do it. So working by myself, I was able to actually do the project that I wanted to do for a good bit. Understandable. Well, thank you for coming on, Eric. Thank you very much. Now, on to our next project. As discussed before, one of the many elements we had to display in our projects was the use of creative camera angles. Two projects in particular displayed the power of using the camera in intricate ways. One such project is from Aiden Cody and Sean Marshall. Right afterwards that project, we'll be watching Anna Bondi's project displaying even more uses of creative camera angles. Let's take a look. As you can see, creative camera angles can allow for a project to be, well, more creative. But they can also introduce suspense and distress in ways that your more normal shots can't. Here with us to discuss creative camera angles is Anna Bondi as well as Aiden Cody. So first question is for you, Anna. Uh, how did you come up with the inspiration for your project as a whole? Well, I feel like everyone really has that fear when like you're home alone that someone's going to break in. So I feel like that idea was really fun to play with and kind of take that idea and add stuff to it. Hmm. All right. 
and for Aiden, uh, what was kind of the, the hardest part for your project for you? Um, definitely the editing and probably finding um, creative camera angles. That was pretty hard, but overall it was really fun. All right, well, I'm glad you both had fun and were able to get your ideas out onto film. So, uh, next project. We're going to go through some of the other aspects of suspenseful filmmaking, namely building tension through editing. Here we have a project created by Tess Phillips and Rachel Zeisloff as a wonderful example. Welcome back. Here now we have Tess Phillips to discuss her use of editing to add suspense to her project. Welcome Tess. So uh, Tess, just as a, as a more general uh, question, did you have any I guess, struggles setting up the camera in order to film for the editing of Building Tension Through Editing? I would say that we did. We had a lot of trouble knowing in advance prior to editing where the good angles were going to be and what was gonna be the most suspenseful. And um, we actually had to go and reshoot some of the things to get like different wall shots and floor shots to make it as good as it could be. And using those camera shots, how do you think that eventually going through it and editing and, and building the attention through the editing, what do you think that adds to a project? I think it gives the audience like a sense of curiosity and really makes them wonder what's gonna happen next. And I think that is really interesting. Well, thank you for the answers, and thank you for coming out today, Tess. Thanks for having me. So, finally, as a showing of an individual technique, we'll be showing Allison O'Neill and Georgia Krasinski's long shot from their project, Unknown Caller. As you can see, long shots definitely add a special dynamic that normal, more quickly put together shots don't. Finally, we have a project from McKenna Parker, Isabel Guna, Mario Pusateri. But before we watch it, we've invited McKenna on to talk about a few things we'll see in her video. So thank you for coming on today. Of course. So uh, since we've been talking about long shots as one of our, our three different uh, techniques to build suspense, um, what would you say uh, a long shot really is in practice? Um, so a long shot is when you, it's a shot like a, that is longer than the typical shot in length and then it also has two things happening in the shot usually so there's something that's happening in the foreground that's closer to the camera and then also in the background farther away from the camera. So in our project we had a long shot where um, this girl is looking for the dog that she's supposed to be watching for the week and she's walking to the back of the room to try and look for the dog and in the foreground there's like this little like ghost that runs across the sc like screen or in front of the camera and then that and then the girl's still in the background so that's what we used for our long shot. So you would say a long shot is, is both long in length and in time and in kind of what you see in the shot. Correct. Understandable. Yes. Uh, and so for my second question I just want to ask you what was your favorite part of making this project? Um, I really enjoyed this project because it has a lot of creative freedom. You really have like the opportunity to, to kind of take it and do whatever you want with it. There's a lot of different aspects mm. and like ways you could go with this project. Mm -hmm. So I enjoyed it because of that. So kind of the, the creativeness really spoke to you for this. Yes. All right. Well, Definitely. thank you for coming on. Thank you. Now, as promised, the project from McKenna Parker, Isabel Guna, Mario Pusateri, Unwelcome Guest. Yeah, I just pulled up to their house now. I know, I'm actually so excited to be just like me and the dog for a big house in the Okay, just wait. I have to pull up the garage code.
Thank you so much for house and dog sitting. While we are out of town, the dog will be fed twice a day. Food is in the fridge. Wi-Fi password and codes are on the fridge. Help yourself to anything. Call if you need anything. Enjoy. Huh, I wonder where the dog is. Everybody. Nitro! Nitro buddy, where'd you go? Nitro, you want some food? That's weird. Nitro! Oh, <laughs> there you are, buddy. Hi, aw, oh, aren't you such a cutie? Oh. You wanna get some food? Come on, come here. Come on. is creepy. one is definitely one of my favorites. Wouldn't you agree, Fred? Well, thank you all for watching our media showcase. We had a ton of fun putting it together, and we definitely learned a lot. So we hope you did too. This has been Benny Gerkman from Period 4 Media Broadcasting. Thanks for watching. Uh.